No, not really. <laughs> I named it Dick Clark. <laughs> it's a striking, striking resemblance, yes. What is it? Let me... There he is. Uh, it's the ears, especially. Yeah. If you are going to be a musician, who would inspire you? These guys. <laughs> well, that's possible. I believe a lot of people have been inspired. The reason I ask is, when you look at their backgrounds, and they have usual biographies and stuff, and you read that, and you say, who influenced you to write the kind of music you do? And it's an interesting conglomeration of... Uh, uh, Lennon and McCartney and Gilbert and Sullivan and uh, Cole Porter and a lot of other people, famous people. Chris Difford and his uh, writing partner, Glenn Tilbrook, are responsible for this group that has been together, I think, for maybe uh, t almost 10 years. I'm not sure, but we'll check that. The reason I say they're causing quite a furor, a furor is everybody's talking about them. That's a good sign. This is not their first trip here. As a matter of fact, they're on the way home. So we'll give them a bon voyage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Squeeze! <laughs> I've got to get my name straight since the first time with our meeting. Glenn Tilbrook, Chris Difford, did I do it right? You did it perfectly right. All right, uh, Glenn, before I forget anybody else, since I don't know them, would you introduce me to the keyboard player and then a roundabout? All right, and uh, on the cable to meet Don Snow. Hello, Don, nice to have you with us, sir. Gilson Levis on the skins. 
Hello, welcome. Uh, Dick, have you met? Uh, this is John Bentley. John and I met earlier. You got here before everybody else. Do you do you, uh, fly, drive? How do you travel? Uh, whatever's most convenient at the time. We've got a bus on the road. We, we drive most of the time. How many tours have you made in the United States now? Fourteen American tours, and who'd believe it? Yeah. Are the distances killing here? I mean, we have so much more ground to cover than you do at home. Yeah, we go from uh, John O'Groats to Land's End twice a day here, you know. It, 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 every English group I've ever said that is one of the major problems, the travel. Now, you're going home. Tonight is the night? Tonight, yeah, flying it. Where, where is home? Does everybody live in the same general area? We'll live around London, yeah. What will be the one thing that you'll do for the rest of the summer now that you have time off? Uh, probably get, visit a lot of pubs in Britain and have a few pints while we're at home. Uh, you told, he told me he was going to write. Do you write when you have time off? Oh, yeah, that's our next project to write and go back in the studio and then come out and do another American tour. I was a little uh, distracted over there because I couldn't remember when it said you got together. How many years ago was it? Well, Glenn and I have been writing songs for 10 years and the band in its present form has been together for about five years. Why is it necessary to get off the road in order to create and to write? I mean, you create when you perform, but can't you write as you drive around or fly? Not really, because there's too many distractions, like people knocking at your door or the phone ringing, it yeah. just gets boring. Besides, there's always a temptation to go to a local bar in a hotel, you know. He's, he's really hung up with the pubs and the bars, did you notice? He's looking forward to getting home. I hope you have a wonderful stay at home. Your 15th tour will, uh, in this country, is liable to happen when? Um, there's a possibility of it happening in October, but it's not definite yet. I must tell you from everybody who uh, has seen your work that it's, it's well worth the trip to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks Good trip home. Thanks very much. It's a delight. Now, what's the next song I should find? It? I've returned. There you go. We'll look for Ladies and gentlemen, squeeze. Feel the night. 